Welcome back everyone. We get questions and comments all the time in regards to social security on our videos and one common trend that we see is people are generally upset with their social security benefits. They wish they made more. They wish they were higher. And in this video what I want to do is talk about why your benefits may actually be lower than last year's or about the same despite the large COLA increase for 2022. This is extremely important for you to understand and it may also lead to higher benefits down the road. So we'll be discussing it all in today's video. Let's get started and dive right in. But before we do, as always, make sure you folks do a couple things for me. Number one, give this video a tremendous thumbs up, smash the like button. If you have been enjoying my content, I would appreciate that. And if you haven't already, of course, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Click that big red button and have notifications turned on as well. That notification bell will actually notify you when we do post a brand new video right here on this channel. And we'll be doing our next cash giveaway when we do hit 20,000 subscribers, which may be right around the corner. You'll have to be subscribed to be entered in that giveaway and be eligible for the cash. So with that being said, let's get started and dive right in. So despite the largest COLA or cost of living adjustment in 40 years, some recipients may open their social security statements and find that their benefits are down from last year's or about the same. So why would this possibly be the case when the COLA increase was the largest in decades at 5.9%? There are several reasons. We're going to run through the most common ones that I see and how to avoid them. Number one, one of the easiest explanations for this is that you earned too much last year. If you are under the FRA or full retirement age and you're collecting Social Security but you're still working, there are limits to how much you could earn. Once you go over that limit, Social Security will then start withholding benefits from you in the next year based on how much you went over. For 2021, the earnings limit was $18,960. And so for every $2 that you earned over that limit, $1 of benefits ended up being withheld. Here's where it can get a little bit more convoluted. Once you've gone over that limit and you've breached it, they don't just then withhold $1. Social Security will also then withhold a full month's check to cover their overpayment to you. Have no fear, don't worry though, you will get it back in the following year. Whatever the difference was between the amount that they should have deducted and the full amount of your payment, that will then be added to the first check of the next year. Let's look at an example. So let's say you earned $500 too much last year. So $250 is withheld of your social security benefits. And let's say your benefit this year was to be $1,000 a month. Social security has to then claw back $250 of that amount. So they do that by withholding the first check of the year. And then in the next year, you'll get that refund of the $750 that you're entitled to. Now, the only way to avoid this situation, easier said than done, is to basically stay below the earnings limit. There is an exception to this rule, though. The only exception is that once you do reach FRA or full retirement age, there is no earnings limit. You could then effectively earn as much as you'd like, and it will never have an effect on your Social Security benefits again once you reach FRA. And possible reason number two why your benefits may be lower this year or about the same is that there could be a change to your Medicare coverage. This is rather easy to understand. Let's say you made a change to your Medicare coverage, such as let's say you added Part D. Thus, that's another deduction from your Social Security benefits, which could result in a lower monthly check for you. I'm curious what kind of deductions you have on your Social Security benefits. Definitely let us know down below in the comments section what do you have deducted from your monthly Social Social Security checks and could you potentially get rid of some of those deductions or are they absolutely necessary? Let us know down below in the comment section. And a third possibility is that there could be a Medicare premium surcharge. This is related to earning too much but this one occurs at any age once you start receiving Medicare benefits. The premium surcharge applies when you have had too much in taxable income not just earnings from a job two years prior to the current year. You heard that correctly. If you're getting a Medicare premium surcharge applied to your 2022 Medicare premium, it's because they looked back at your earnings from 2020. So if you earned $182,000 as a married couple, half of that if you're a single filer in 2020, then likely you're gonna see a Medicare premium surcharge on your benefits this year. This surcharge, which is known as IRMAA, or Income Related Monthly Adjustment Amount, most often applies because there has been an unusual increase to your income. This could be a Roth conversion, sale of an investment property, sale of a stock, 
These are often the causes of such an increase to your Medicare premium. Now, this could also apply if you recently retired, although this change would give you the grounds to appeal the increase. Now, if the increase to income was a one-time event, such as those that we just described, then your Medicare premiums should resume the normal level next year or as soon as your income returns to normal levels. To avoid the IRMAA surcharge, pay close attention to your overall income and try to stay below those levels if possible. And the fourth possible reason why your benefits are lower this year could be because of WEP or GPO. Let's say you just started receiving a pension from a governmental entity or any other organization. And let's say it was based on income that wasn't subject to social security taxes. If this is the case, WEP or GPO could be the culprit to the reduction of your social security benefits. WEP or windfall elimination provision applies primarily to social security benefits based on your own earnings while GPO or government pension offset applies to social security spousal or survivor benefits. WEP can reduce your benefit amount by up to 50% of the first bend point. A bend point is just a part of a benefit calculation formula and this could be as much as $512 a month for someone who reaches 62 this year. The amount is adjusted annually and is always based on the year that you reach 62. WEP can never be more than 50% of your total social security benefit, nor can it be more than 50% of the monthly pension payment that you are receiving or the monthly equivalent if you took the pension as a lump sum. GPO, on the other hand, is directly related to the amount of the pension that you're receiving. Two thirds of the monthly pension payment will be deducted from your spousal or survivor benefit due to the GPO. Definitely do more research and analysis on these two provisions. They're extremely important to understand and they'll let you know where every single nickel is going and why. And number five, the fifth potential reduction to your social security benefits is rather straightforward. It's just an increase in withholding tax. This one's a simple one. If you made a change to the withholding tax on your social security benefits, it could ultimately result in a smaller benefit check. Sometimes this change was made at the beginning of the year and then it was scheduled to be applied to the first check of the next year and you could have potentially forgotten that you made this change. As you could tell, there's a slew of reasons why your social security checks may be smaller this year compared to last year, despite that massive COLA increase. But for the majority of you, the most of you should see overall an increase in your benefits this year compared to last year, albeit maybe it's not your desired amount. Maybe you wish this amount was higher, but it is overall higher. Feel free to let us know what your benefits look like this year compared to last year. If you're comfortable with sharing it, not everyone is okay with divulging that information, but if you are, definitely let us know down below in the comment section and let us know of any deductions that you may have on your checks so that will also give us a good idea thank you so much for watching if you have any questions as always definitely let us know down below in the comment section we will do our best to answer them you can also let us know of any future video ideas that you want to see in regards to social security or any other topic and we'll take them into consideration but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you get value out of it if you did give it a tremendous thumbs up smash the like button i would appreciate that maybe share with a friend share it on social media get the word out and if you want to see more content from my channel, make sure you are subscribed, click the big red button, and have notifications turned on as well. If you want to get some free stocks, all on me, all free, use the links down below in the description of this video. Sign up with the brokerage platforms, Robinhood and or Webull. You'll actually get some free stocks, some valued up to thousands of dollars in some cases. So let us know what stocks you do get. And if you want to connect me on social media, I am on Instagram at Logan Cohn, L-O-G-A-N-K-O-H-N right there on your screen. Hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care for now.